Hello friends. Now in this video, you will learn some definition. That is a line segment, ray, line, properties of congruent segments, and the distance of a point. Distance of a point from a line. Also, we will define the midpoint of a line segment, and lastly, we will see the exercise 1.2 this exercise is very simple therefore now let us start the exercise 1.2 now let's learn in the book mathematics part 1 for the 9th standard we have learned the union and the intersection of a set in the topics on the set now let us describe a segment, a ray and a line as a set of point. Now some basic definitions. The first is a line segment. The union set of the point A and the point B. And the points between A and B is called the segment AB. Segment AB is written as segment AB that is in brief. SEG segment AB means segment AB. Point A and the point B are called the endpoints of the segment AB. A and A and B, these are the endpoints. The distance between the endpoints of a segment is called the length of the segment. That is the length AB is equal to distance AB, and suppose that the a length of AB is a 5, then it is written as a length AB is equals to 5, or it is written as AB is equals to 5 in this way. Next definition is the definition of ray. Suppose that A and B are the two distinct points. The union of union set of all points on the segment AB and the points P such that a dash p dash p is called ray a b here a is called the starting point of ray a b here now the next line a b the union set of the points on ray a b and its opposite ray of a b is called the line a b the set of points on segment AB is a subset of subset of points of a line AB. Now in this case here is a, a, a line AB. I am not shown here, but you can read here. here is a A point and B, and we get the opposite ray from A on the left hand side, and we get the line. Next, the congruent segment. That is congruent. If the two segments have the equal length, then the given segments are the congruent. In the same way, here, if the length of the two segments is equal, then the two segments are the congruent. What is here? Length AB is equal to a length CD. Then length AB is a congruent to length CD. Now, in this figure, length AB and the length CD both are the same. Therefore, we say that. Length AB is a congruent to length CD. Now, next, the properties of a congruent segments. First is reflexivity. That is, a segment AB is a congruent to segment AB. That is, every segment is a congruent to itself. Next is symmetry. If segment AB is a congruent to segment CD, then the segment CD is a congruent to segment AB. That is segment AB is a congruent to segment CD. Then the CD is a congruent to segment AB. Segment CD is congruent to segment CD. Now next property is a transitivity. Means what? First is congruent to second. Second is congruent to third. It means that first is congruent to third. In the same way, if the segment AB is a congruent to segment CD, segment CD is a congruent to segment EF, then it's clear that the segment AB is a congruent to segment EF. Now the midpoint. That is every segment has the midpoint. If 
m is in between a and b that is a dash m dash b and here that is a segment here is a if m is again i am repeating here here m is in between a and b segment ab is a congruent to segment ab m is called the midpoint of segment ab that is every segment has one and only one midpoint here is m is a midpoint of segment ab now the comparison of the segment if the length of the segment ab is uh, less than the segment cd now in this figure uh, segment ab is smaller than the segment cd and it is written as that is a segment ab is a less than segment cd or it is also written as segment cd is greater than segment ab comparison of the segment depends upon their length now the perpendicularity of the segment or the ray if the line that is in this case now see this figure the ab is the segment and the line cd is a perpendicular to segment ab or we can also say that the segment ab is a perpendicular to line cd and it is written as a symbolically that is a line segment ab is a perpendicular to line cd and in this way next distance of a point from a line now in this case if c is any point outside the line ab then how to find the distance draw the perpendicular from the point c on the line ab suppose d is a point where uh, d is a foot of the perpendicular then the segment cd is the length of the segment cd is the per is the distance of the point c from the line ab in this way we can find out the perpendicular distance of a point from a line now we'll start the practice set 1.2 the following table shows the points on a number line and their coordinates decide whether the pair of segments given below table are congruent or not now in this case we have given point a is minus 3 b is 5 c is 2 d is minus 7 and e is 9. I will first compare the segment DE and the segment AB. For that we will find out the distance DE and distance AB. Now see this here. Coordinate of the point D is minus 7. Coordinate of point E is 9. 9 is greater than minus 7. Therefore distance D is equals to 9 minus in bracket minus 7. And that's why uh, distance d is equals to 16. Now next we will find out uh, the next distance that is a uh, distance a b. The coordinate of point a is a uh, minus 3. See here a is a minus 3 and the coordinate of b is a uh, 5. There is a 5. Therefore distance a b is equals to 5 minus in bracket minus 3 5 plus 3 that is equals to 8 and this term, length a b distance a b is 8 length a b is equals to 8 therefore from 1 and 2 here length d is equals to 16 and the length a b is equals to 8 therefore the length d is not equals to the length a b therefore these two segments are not congruent next segment b c and segment a d now first we will find out the distance BC. The coordinate of point B is 5. Coordinate of point C is 2. 5 is greater than 2. Therefore BC is equals to 3. You see this here B and C. BC is equals to 3. Next AD. Now the coordinate of point A is minus 3. And D is a minus 7. A is a minus 3 and D is a minus 7. Therefore minus 3 minus in bracket minus 7. Therefore, minus 3 plus 7 that is equals to 4. Distance length AD is equals to 4 and length BC is equals to 3. Therefore, from 1 and 2 segment BC is not congruent to segment AD. Next, segment B and the segment AD. Now, in this case again, we will find out the distance BE. Coordinate of point B is 5 and E is 9. B is 5, E is 9. Therefore, distance B is equals to 9 minus 5 and that is equals to 4. Length B is equals to 4. Now, next, AD. Coordinate of point A is minus 3 and D is minus 7. Therefore, distance AD 
is equals to minus 3 minus in bracket minus 7 and minus 3 plus 7 that is equals to 4. Length AD is equals to 4. Again, AD is 4, B is 4. Now, in this case, segment B is a congruent to segment AD. Now, next question. Question number 2. Point M is a midpoint of segment AB. If AB is equal to 8, then find the length AM. As M is a midpoint, therefore AM is equal to 1 upon 2 AB. AM is equal to 1 upon 2. Length AM is equal to 1 upon 2 into 8. That is length AM is equal to 4. And hence AM is equal to 4. Now let's take the next question. Point P is a midpoint of segment CD. CP is equal to 2.5. Then find a length CD. Length of CP is equal to 2.5. Therefore, the length CP is equal to 2 times. Length CD is equal to 2 times the length CP. That is a 2 into 2.5. And that is equal to 5. Now, the next question. If AB is equal to 5 cm, BP is equal to 2 cm. And AP is equal to 3.4 cm. Compare the segment. Now, in this case, AB is the largest and BP is the smallest one. As uh, the length of AB is equal to 5 cm, BP is a 2 cm, AP is a 3.4 cm. Therefore, AB is a greater than AP, AP is a greater than BP and in this way. Next question, uh, write the answers to the following questions with reference to the figure. Write the name of the opposite ray of ray RP. The opposite ray of ray RP is ray RS, ray RT. Ray RS or ray RT is the ray opposite to the ray RP. Next question. Write the intersection set of ray PQ and the ray RP. Now, R to Q, R to P and their intersection is a ray PQ. Therefore, the ray PQ is the intersection set of ray PQ and the ray RP. Next question, write the union set of the ray PQ and the ray QR. The line PQ or the line QR is the union set of the ray PQ and the ray QR. Now, I will again repeat the question number 3. Write the union set of array PQ, P to Q and Q to R. The line PQ or the line QR is the union set of array PQ and array QR. Next, state the rates of which segment QR is the subset. QR is the subset. This is the QR. Then we will have Segment QR is the subset of the ray R to Q, that is a ray RQ, ray SQ, ray TQ, ray QS, and in this way we will get the different rays, that is a ray TQ, ray QR, ray QS, and the ray QT. Write the pair of opposite ray with common end point R, means their end point is R, that is a if we Consider this is the end point, then what will that ray RP and ray RS in this way we will get the pair of opposite ray with the end point R. Next question write any two rays with the common end point S, then which, which are the rays that is a ray ST and the ray SR in this way ray SR and the ray ST are the two rays with the common end point S. Write the intersection set of ray SP, S to P and S to T which is the common point. S is the common point. The intersection of the ray SP and the ray ST is point S. Now next, answer the questions with the help of the figure. State the point which are equidistant from the point B. Now, from the point B, now see this here, point B. The coordinate of the point B is 2. Now, here is a distance. Here is a 3, 4 in this way. 
the equidistance uh, point uh, from the point B are the point C and A. Next, point D and point P. Point C and A are the equidistance from the point B as both of points are at a distance of 2 units from B. 2 units from the B. Next, also the point D and P are the equidistance from the point B as both are at a distance of 4 units at a distance of 4 in if we this, here is a 2 and if we see this d d and here is a p they are at a distance of 4 unit and what about the a and c a and c are at a distance of 2 unit now next question uh, write a pair of points equidistant from point q from the point q now here is a point q equidistance they are the point U and L, point R and point P. Therefore, we have here the equidistance. Point L and U is a pair of points equidistance from the point Q. As both of the points are at a distance of 1 unit from Q. Also, P and R is the pair of the points equidistance from the point Q. As both are at a distance of 2 unit from the point q now here is a this p and r they are at a two units u and l at a distance of one unit now the next question we'll find out the distances uv ac pb and ul now see this here now we'll find out the distance uv the coordinate of the point u is minus 5 u coordinate of the point v is a 5 therefore the distance uv is equals to the distance here is a distance uv is equals to 5u minus in bracket minus 5 5 plus 5u that is equals to 10 therefore distance uv is equals to 10 now the next distance pc the coordinate of the point p is a minus 2 and the coordinate of the point p is 4 4 is greater than minus 2 therefore the distance pc is equals to 4 minus in bracket minus 2 4 plus 2 that is equals to 6 therefore distance pc is equals to 6 Next, the distance VB, the coordinate of the point V is 5 and the coordinate of point B is 2. Therefore, the distance VB is equals to 5 is greater than 2. Therefore, the distance VB is equals to 5 minus 2 and that is equals to 3. And the next distance UL. For the UL, the coordinate of the point U is a minus 5 and the coordinate of point L is a minus 3. Minus 3 is a greater than minus 5 and therefore distance ul is equals to minus 3 minus in bracket minus 5 and that is minus 3 plus 5 that is equals to 2 and hence the distance ul is equals to 2 and in this way we have completed the practice set 1.2 i hope that you would have understood all the problems whatever that i had explained now we'll see in the next video till then goodbye